Welcome to this computer tutoring training session. What we're just going to do is look at taking out a loan and how we can go about that. Now I've got the spreadsheet here available and it can be downloaded from our website. Just made some bit of uh, boilerplate text entry here with loan repayment in A1, amount in A3, APR in A4, period in A5 and monthly in A6. So the amount, there's nothing magic about that figure, that's how much we need to borrow, so that's £10,000. In APR, it's the percentage rate, or the annual percentage rate, which is 6%. The period is the amount of months that we are going to pay, so in this case it's 3 years or 36 months. And the formula, in this instance, works out how much we are going to pay monthly. So what I'm going to do is going to delete that, and we're going to use the insert function to put in this formula. So let's have a look, and the formula that we're looking for, the function we're looking for, is the PMT function. So in search for a function, if you type PMT and click Go, and you'll see in the select a function box underneath, you'll see the PMT function and the way that you'll, uh, you should use this, or what it's used for. Click on OK. Now the rate, again at the bottom of the function arguments dialog box, it will tell us what the rate or what it's expecting for us to enter in for the rate. So in this case, it's the interest rate per period for the loan. For example, use 6% divided by 4 for quarterly payments at a 6% APR. In this type, we're going to use the APR here, which is 6%, but we're going to divide that by 12 because we're going to make 12 payments over the year. Now if we click in the N per box, which is the number of payments, that's the total number of payments for the loan, well, we're going to make 36 payments. It's going to be over three years or 36 months. So again, we click on cell reference B5 instead of manually typing in the number. Now we click into present value, and that's the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. So in that case, it's the loan amount. So if we click on B3, which is the £10,000. Now, if we look to the bottom, we can instantly see the formula result is £304.22. So if we click on OK, we can see that the figure comes out as a negative figure, uh, £304.22. Now, because we've used cell references within our formula, as you can see at the top, we can change things like the APR. So say if we get a better rate at 4.5, when we press Enter, we can see we'll be paying... £297 a month. Or let's just see if we pay over a longer period, 48 months. We can see that the payment will drop to £228.03. So thanks for watching. Uh, to find out for, look out for more videos on the Computer Tutoring website, look out for online training. Thank you very much for listening.